Making a mess on my stove. Yes, oh. you are. Did you hit the front button or the I red hit that button? button, the red one. Oh, okay. It's red on here. Okay, the good. red hey, dot. All right. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, today's Wednesday. It's sort of a beautiful day here uh, in South Florida, though we're expecting some rain uh, for the weekend, and it's leading up into Easter. Anyhow, I've got sort of two things going on today. I haven't seen my folks for several weeks, so I'm going up there this afternoon, taking a meal to them that I'm going to record separately and post separately. Uh, it's a spatchcock chicken, which means butterfly chicken. I don't know where the word spatchcock came from. Hmm. It's probably British. British or, or maybe <laughs> Dutch or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm also making for them. I'm going to make it lemon day. That's what it's going to be. So that chicken's going to have a lemon base to it. And I'll show you that later. And I'm going to do a pasta that has a lemon base. But I am making right now a lemon meringue pie. And so I love this pie. It's just oh, an easy, this is easy, the yeah. Best oh, yeah, yeah. Pie. And so I've already got things set up. By the way, I yesterday I took time and just rolled out a uh, crust and got my crust done. Baked it for about 15 minutes in a 350 oven. I think it was 350, 375. And I used some uh, uh, pie weights to keep it from curling up in the oven. What and is your cheat on the crust? Oh, my cheat on this crust was uh, <laughs> Pillsbury. <laughs> Good. I you got to be honest. Out, rolled be it honest. out. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. So I didn't want to mess with all that. And I had one left over, and I thought I might as well use it. So that's what got, got it out of my fridge. So that's done. Yesterday, I made a couple of loaves of bread, and my mother doesn't even know, and my dad, too. They're getting a couple of loaves of bread today. They're going to get one of these. They love it. And uh, every time I show up now without one, it's sort of like, uh -oh. Yeah, where's the bread? You, you didn't bring any bread? <laughs> what I've done, I've got four egg yolks separated out. And I also kept the whites, because that's going to be the meringue. And I actually added a fifth egg white in here. And I'm going to make the meringue in a little bit, but I'm going to put this back in the fridge for now. And keep that a little cool. Love those lemons. Yeah, and this lemon, by the way, don't do this. Don't, don't just when it calls for lemon juice. Don't use one of these. Can I tell you, do not use one of these. That's a bad way to go. Get some fresh lemon. And I need a half a cup of lemon juice. So I've got myself a nice, I bought this years ago, this nice lemon juicer. Although, man, I saw one of my chefs that I follow, uh, they had a actual electric one. That would be cool, oh, but I don't have nice. any counter space for that. And I don't feel like pulling it out if I did have one. Those are hard for me to do when when they're so big. Uh, here, this yeah. here. Oh, yeah. I can use two hands. That yeah, works. no, you gotta use two hands. Yeah. And you just squeeze really hard. So that's sort of the idea. Oh, that kind of lemon juice is so mm. much better though. You know what? I smell these, it. These, yeah, guess what though? I'm not yeah. sure who to thank, but these were 91 cents each. Are you yesterday. kidding? Yeah. And we're in Florida. I know it, and we're in Florida. So They must come from California. I don't know where they're coming from, Jeez. but wherever they are, they're, they're very expensive. And I'll tell you what else. They're good, but they're little on the small side, I noticed, too, yesterday. We need a lemon tree. I, yeah. Or somebody, could. friends who have a lemon tree. Yeah, <laughs> next door. Now. That would be nice. Yeah, so there's um, not quite a half, so I'm going to do one more lemon. I've got enough here. Those egg yolks are really yellow too. Yeah, they are, aren't they? And that's what yeah. makes that filling so beautiful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, there we go. Did you work out this morning? I'm doing it now. This is it. <laughs> Just my watch doesn't record the workout, unfortunately. No, why doesn't the Apple Watch record doing Everything. cooking? Yeah, I know. Jeez. I know. All righty, so that's done. So that's going to be uh, what we're going to use, and we're going to get some sugar going. We're going to get some cornstarch going. I got the pan, uh, the saucepan on the stove, and off we go to races. I wonder if that would work on my feet. <laughs> I love this zest because it just makes everything so good. I should have done this one before I cut it.
Okay, uh, now, oh, I got my uh, robe, my robe on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, I uh, am now going to start on the filling. So it calls for a cup of, sh of white granul granula, granulated <laughs> sugar. <laughs> Say talk. it five times I fast. I know, well, you could never do that. It calls for five tablespoons of cornstarch, which is really a third of a cup. So, and I put the robe on because with cornstarch, it tends, for me, it tends to go all over the place. And then it, it calls for a half a teaspoon of fine salt. And the only fine salt I have, is, it's good salt, but it's this um, sea salt. And so sea salt, I oh, no, tend to... we have regular salt. I don't like the regular salt. Well, that might be what this you This is need. just a little bit less than <laughs> half a teaspoon. This isn't like my salt. I don't like your salt that, that, at all. And so we're to whisk this up first. Here, get this all sort of blended together. And then what I need to do... See, look at that. It's coming up, that cornstarch. Yeah. Okay, and then what I need to do is whisk up this nice egg yolk here. Okay, so that's all together. Now we're going to start process. So now we're ready to go. So I've got the stove uh, medium heat. My, my stove is four, four and a half on that because it's an electric stove. And what I want to do now is get this going and I'm going to add the half cup of fresh lemon juice. And we're going to mix that all in. And in addition to that, as we get this slurry going, if you would, I'm going to also add one and a half cups of water. I'd help you, but I'm doing this. No, you need to just do what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know about everybody watching this, but a good cook probably usually doesn't like that much help, you know. Oh, really? When they're cooking. I guess. Well, okay, let me say it this way. This will make you feel better. What? A cook that is a total amateur like I am says, oh my God, I don't need the help because I'm trying to keep up myself. <laughs> oh, maybe so that's, that's what it is, I think, more than anything. No, I think you just like doing it. You know, I do like doing I it, know. but whatever. Yeah. I'm curious as to how many people actually don't like lemon, mer lemon pie, lemon anything. I only have one friend. I made a lemon pie for a dinner party here about um, a month ago, two months ago. And I took it over. Everybody loved it. There was about eight of us there, ten of us there. And only one of my friends doesn't like it. But he, I, I saw he had a little piece. And he told me how well, good it was. That's because everyone kept telling him, you got to try it. Yeah, you got to try I know it. it. I know it. I know it. They loved it. So I'm not going to keep this video going, showing you just me going around in circles because it needs to come up to a real hard simmer here. And then what we're going to do is take some of that nice juice of, of this in the saucepan and temper the eggs a little bit before we pour them in. Otherwise, we'll have scrambled lemon meringue, scrambled egg lemon meringue pie. We don't want that. Well, while you're stirring around there, do you have anything to tell these wonderful people? Uh, no, I don't, except the book that uh, Sarah and I are working on. I found out yesterday from the publisher. It's all done. Sarah and I have got our stuff all done. But I found out yesterday from the publisher that it's not going to be coming out until after the first of the year. There's like all these kinds of bad deals going on with paper and glue and all sorts of stuff. Oh, so... So they... even the normal process of editing the content, which is like a three-step thing, they, you edit, then they send it back to you, you look at it, then you go again and you look at it and do it three times like that. You get that done. Then you have to uh, do what is called content. I mean, that's content editing. Then you do format editing, and you've got to lay out the book in a right format. Well, because it's three authors, and each one of us are contributing, I'm doing the bulk of the writing, but then Sarah's got her piece, and my mother's got her piece in there. They have to figure out, and we're going to work on that, how that needs to appear in the book, you know, oh, in different sections or whatever. Yeah. So that's a big deal. Then I'm, they sent me a questionnaire the other day, uh, what kind of cover look do you want and all this, and I, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's just a lot to doing a book. And they give you a lot of insight in what, what they think will work and this, that, and the other. But point is, not until next year. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh, my goodness sakes, I, won't, I almost have forgotten about the book 
by then, but I well, no, that. you'll be sick of it. Yeah, I probably will be because they yeah. keep coming back. No, it's a good book. I won't things. get sick. No, of my but own. what I <laughs> that'd be like getting sick of my living meringue. Yeah. No, <laughs> I mean of dealing with it. Yeah, like oh, just dealing with it. It's like, yeah, absolutely. It's like having a baby. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, there you go. Is. Yeah, oh. nine months. Oh, You're we're, pregnant. We're nine ten, months. It's ten months actually from now, but well, ten this months. Well, going to be a big baby. Yes, yes. See, you get. I wonder if I get a. By the time you're done, baby shower you, out of it. By the time you're done with that pregnancy, you are ready. You're ready you, to no have matter it. what it takes, yeah, just, just get, get that baby thing out, out of me. Exactly right. <laughs> so you're going to hear more about it because we're going to do some kind of pre-order thing and all that. So um, Sarah will be talking about it on her site. I'm talking about it on this site. In the days ahead, we'll, we'll put it all together for you. It's going to be good, though. It really is good. There's a lot of good stories in there from my childhood, uh, from Sarah's childhood. She's got some things. And from her raising her own uh, brood. No, excuse me, tribe. Tribe. It's not our, our brood of many. It's our tribe of many. Okay, so what do we have Okay, here? so my, my uh, I got it done well it's thick but now we and it's got the lemon flavor in there but now we're going to add the color with the eggs you know and all that so I'm going to take some of this um, wonderful juice here and we're going to temper these eggs right here Whoops, sorry about that get these eggs nice and tempered otherwise you get scrambled eggs or you get scrambled eggs yeah. scrambled yolks is that good enough yeah Making a mess on my stove. Though. Yes, wow. you are. I can smell it burning. This is not a good smell. Okay. Now you got to put the pot back on there. Yeah, I know it. It's going to get bad. That wasn't a good idea. Too bad. All right, and then this goes in. Oh, to, I know that. This okay. goes into my mixture here. We're going to keep stirring that nicely. That's the hard thing with an electric stove. It just uh, yeah, it just is so takes hard a long and fast. Time to yeah, react. Yeah, it does. We can't have gas in our condos. Mm -hmm. so. so we want this to come along as well, just to be really um, nice thick, nice and yellow. Nice and yellow, and then we're going to add some lemon zest that I've got ready over there from the lemons, and we want to really bring it back up to a little bit of a, a little good simmer, hard simmer. Okay, we're almost done, and what we're doing now, we've got it all incorporated, as you can see, uh, the egg yolk, and now we're going to add three tablespoons, I cut them up in small pieces, three tablespoons of uh, unsalted butter. We're gonna put that in there, and we're gonna let that uh, get nice and creamy. And I'm also gonna add the zest that I cut, and we're gonna put that in there as well. And we're gonna get this all incorporated, and the minute it is, this filling is done and ready for the pie shell. That butter just adds a silkiness to oh, things. Oh, I'm sure. Butter is good in everything. Anything. Yes, it is. I heard Sarah made her own butter the other day. Really? Yeah. I don't know that I'm into What is that. becoming of our daughter? I don't know. I tell you what. I call, I'm starting to call her Sarah Homemaker. Yeah, something. <laughs> Farmer Sarah. Farmer Sarah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You got to know that that is really, really Wonderful. good in there. So I'm going to take this off the stove. I've actually turned the eye down now. I'm going to let this cool just for a little bit, and then I'm going to pour it into my pie crust, and then we're going to put that in the refrigerator, let it cool down, and then I'm going to make the meringue, stick it on top. Put that back in the refrigerator, let it cool down, and we'll take this up to my mother's and dad's this afternoon later and, and eat this tonight. And then I'll take a clip. I'll show you the meringue. That's a fun thing. And we'll uh, show you a clip of them eating it, too. Hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> oh, right. It, yeah. it will taste wonderful. We'll see. We'll see. fills it up nice and then you've got the meringue on top but there's so much flavor in that lemon that um that's what you want okay take a taste no yes take a taste Let's see what you think you think so sure pick your finger oh mm. my gosh oh my gosh mm. okay the pot's for me oh <laughs> i get the pot mm. 
the rest of the pot. <laughs> There's enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, my uh, pie is in the fridge, staying cool. And by the way, I stuck it in there, shut the video off, and then forgot. But you need to put a layer of uh, saran wrap down over that pie filling because if you don't, it'll make its own, like, what is that? It's like a crust kind of, you know oh, what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like skin. That's yeah. the word I want. And you don't want that. Those, yeah. that's, so in order to keep it from doing that, you put, you know, some cellophane down and tighten it down there yeah. on that. Just pop it down there. And then that makes its own skin. And then you won't have skin from that lemon. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing the meringue. So I've got on here a saucepan with some water that's coming up to um, speed. I want it to be simmering and boiling. I'm going to put my five egg yolks in my mixer bowl here. Five egg whites, excuse me, not yolks. <laughs> five egg whites. I'm also going to put in here about a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And this sort of helps bind everything and it helps it fluff up too. So that goes in. And then I need just a little bit of salt. We're going to put just a pinch of salt in, and that's that. Just maybe a little bit more in my pinch. Everybody has a different pinch. And then I'm going to also put in one cup of uh, white sugar. And we're going to put that in there. And then all we want to do is mix that around and get that sort of blended up here. There we go. Whisk it around. And I'm going to then put this over this mixer bowl over the steaming water and we're going to get this to incorporate and get all that nice, nice sugar into the uh, egg whites all melted and everything it's going to be really good there we go so now we put this over here and all we do is keep whisking for a while when you do it by the way you don't want this this bowl the the mixer bowl touching the water you just want it above it and you just keep stirring constantly until that egg white gets really sort of white and you'll see it starting to fluff up a little bit and in, it be incorporated with the sugar and that it feels hot to the touch so we're not there yet but we're getting there and then once that's done that way and it's sort of warm to the touch i'm going to put it on the mixer itself and then we're going to whip it like crazy until we get those real stiff peaks mm, and make it glad good. you don't have to do you it know, by hand i know it old man yeah and not only that, but you know what? I love this pie because then I get to pull out the blowtorch. Oh, yeah. Like that that's part. true. That's really dangerous. Did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. I do I like to put a little bit of uh, lemon zest on the top of the pie after I've done the burning because then just a little bit sprinkle around the top just then people know sort of what it is and I don't want anybody wondering what kind of pie is this oh, here it is it's yeah. got some lemon zest. okay that's what you want you want the nice meringue to stay when you lift that thing in there right the peak stays up now we're gonna get the pie out we're gonna get a spatula we're gonna put this on the pie and we're going to get ready with our blowtorch. I love it. So if you don't have a blowtorch, what do you do? You put it in, you the, put oven, it in the broiler, in the, right? In the broiler, but that, I tell you what, every time I've done that, I burnt the, the thing to a crisp because <laughs> I forget it. You know, I'll get a phone call or something and then off I am. I come back and there's a smoldering hulk of whatever. And I don't need that. I've always done them with the, with the broiler. I can't even make... I like a grilled cheese in a broiler. I, I'll, I'll just burn it every single time. Oh, this looks so good. My mother's going to be so proud of me. I use an offset spatula and, oh, I need a... No, you don't want that one, do you? You want that that softer one in there. What softer one? This one, watch. Mm, okay. See? <laughs> it works as a spoon and a yes, spatula. It 
And by the way, when you do this, you do want to make sure that the meringue goes all the way to the edge of the crust. And that keeps it from weeping. Is that what they call it? That's what they call it, yeah. I call it shrinking. Oh, oh my gosh. My never mother's going to be so proud of I me. I never thought my husband would be even interested in making a pie, let alone a lemon Look at that. Meringue. See, now, oh, let me get some more on here. It's a little low spot. You want a nice slot of meringue on there because everybody loves the meringue. See how it filled that whole pie up like that? Yeah, I think this was better than your last one. I think so, too. I'll tell you what, it will be fun to watch my folks enjoy it. And with this and the meal that I'm doing for them, I should be back to the number one sun position. Here, there's a dip right in there. <gasps> there you go. Looks like waves in an ocean. Yes. Oh, doesn't that look good? Yeah. Okay. How does it taste? I didn't taste it. It tastes great. It's like marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> it is like marshmallow. It is good. Okay, here we go. Now this is the fun part. <laughs> I don't want you to find it at me. <laughs> Oh, oh, see, I knew there was a reason I moved. Okay, you go in here, you just do it. Oh, look at it, coming from. Oh yeah. I need more flame. Can't stand the wrong side. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to load that back up. I wonder how you do that. See, technical difficulties. That's what happens. Just a little bit of zest up on top. Final touch. The final touch. There, that's it. Okay. My creation is done. Voila. Okay, I've got my pie. Turned out great. Everybody's loving it. That's why you're not hearing any talking. They're eating. It turned out wonderful. Very, very lemony meringue. Sort of caved in a little bit in the trip up here, but not a bad deal. Enjoy. Hope you make it. Mm. Mm. Is it good, Dad? It's very good. Good. Hey, everyone. I'm back home. It's the next morning after having gone up uh, last night to my folks' house. I cooked them a meal. I took them a lemon meringue pie that I made. And it occurred to me about the lemon meringue. I bet you you guys have done lemon meringue like crazy. And you could probably teach me a thousand different things about how to do lemon meringue. But it was interesting and appreciate your comments. I um, have done meringue a couple, three, four times uh, with this lemon pie. And I stir my uh, egg yolk, uh, egg white, excuse me, and my sugar, and then a little bit of the uh, salt and a little bit of the uh, cream of tartar. I put that in a bowl and I stir it over steamed uh, water, like a double boiler kind of thing. And I do that so that that sugar melts in that egg white and it, it really makes it sort of creamy and everything, but it gets the sugar melted so you don't taste granules in your egg white. And my mother looked at me with that recipe and thought I had gone stupid. And um, she says, I've never done that. I, you don't do that way. So she didn't really explain to me how she did it, but I'd love to hear how you guys make meringue. It might, you might have an easier way of doing it. Anyhow, drop me a line, let me know. Maybe we can get a little communication going. I'm always trying to learn, always trying to figure these things out. It turned out good. It was very, she loved it. She, I mean, she ate quite a bit of it and I left the rest of the pie for her, but still a little bit different approach to the meringue. Anyhow, let me know. Thanks.